I haven't done that for quite some time. Quite some time. And it's, it's time. It's just time, you know. It's just time. So recently I've seen a lot of reviews about the M1 iPad Pro and yeah, basically it's the same reviews that were two years ago, three years ago, four years ago. The conclusion is the same. The product is different, but the conclusion is always the same. The hardware is an absolute overkill uh, and it's absolutely fantastic in everything it does, but the software is not up there. And like, is it really? I mean, I'm just wondering right now because the fact that the power is an absolute overkill, there is no question about that. And the fact that we don't have apps and the overall OS that's gonna take advantage of, of that power, that's 100% true and I'm not gonna argue with that. I'm all behind that. And I think that we need something big during WWDC to actually make this iPad better, to make it more functional. Like e yeah, iPads, are pretty much killing it when it comes to tablet market. But still, we need to extend that lead. And WWDC is the way to do it, the time to do it, since we haven't had a big change since iPadOS 13, when it was presented. It was like two years ago. Then they added this mouse and trackpad support. Yeah, that was a big deal, but nothing like... Spe I mean, it was spectacular, but like something that huge, it was big, it made iPad more functional, it enabled these mouse, keyboards, uh, support, it enabled Magic Keyboard, so it was a great change, but the last change was like, what, over a year ago, and we haven't had any real change since then. I mean, yeah, we got the killer scribble feature, I guess, that I don't even use, and that's it. So we definitely need something more, and. Apple might just do that since, I mean, the hardware, it's not even right now, the hardware has been terrific for years, but now I feel like with this M1 iPad Pro there are more and more speculations that they are actually gonna develop iPadOS even further and that's what I wanna see personally. But there is another thing that people just keep mentioning and as I think about that, me, a guy who doesn't have an iPad Pro as for now, me who has just a regular iPad mini, which is not overkill in any way, shape or form, and when people on the internet who just, you know, upgrade from iPad Pro, from the newest iPad Pro to the newest iPad Pro year every year, every upgrade, and they talk about stuff that, well, this is overkill, this power, it's just too much, they are right, but like not 100 persons since if you actually use some cheaper iPads, maybe some older iPads, you will actually see that's not the case. Uh, for example, I have three gigabytes of RAM on my iPad mini and it crashes. It just physically crashes from time to time. These three gigabytes of RAM are not always enough. It's not always the fastest. I edit video, I jump between tasks and some are gonna crash like YouTube, GoodNotes yesterday. So it's not perfect. Yeah, and that is what I'm talking about. Just went from LumaFusion, for example, to check some photos and then came back and look what's going on. Video should be here, but it's not actually. And I think this is some form of RAM limitation. And that is the point I'm trying to make in the whole video. And yeah, this is just happening during the editing of the video. So that's what I'm talking about exactly. And this overkill on the iPad Pro, it's not an actually overkill if you actually think about the long term and when it comes to the overall usage experience. Because if you actually watch some of the reviews, some of the tech videos, you will see that people say the 2020 Pro has been performing perfectly ever since day one. And the reason it's been that way, it's because it was an overkill when it came out. So like the performance, the RAM, everything was like an overkill for the time being. But it's not an overkill if you actually use this iPad every day and try to use it as much of that iPad OS, as much as it offers. You try to actually use it multitask and do all the things over the years. You're gonna appreciate the fact that it has been overkill. So I think that Apple definitely, people in Apple definitely know what they are doing since if you pack that much power, you are pretty much guaranteed that it's gonna work flawlessly, that the newer software updates are gonna work decently, that you're not gonna run out of RAM and literally just close up 
on or crash. Sometimes iPadOS works in the way that if it lacks RAM, it either like limits the app, like in the way of Procreate, when you just can't put more layers because there is a RAM limitation, or it actually crashes. If like the if it's like too heavy workload overall, it just crashes. And the 2020, for example, iPad Pro didn't crash, never really crashed. Uh, same with the current M1 iPad Pro. And the reason for that is because it's an already overkill. And that's why this power, this M1, this RAM makes makes a difference. That's why they put it in it to give you flawless experience with the limited OS you have. And with that being said, do I think that we should just stop by and not develop iPadOS? No, absolutely not. That's not the point. The point was that putting so much power even with a limited software actually makes sense because you're kind of guaranteed it's going to work perfectly. But you still got to develop that software because like there's so much power in it that we pretty much reached the peak. I mean, if you actually watch the reviews, people are saying, no difference if you have 2018, 2020, 2021 iPad Pro. It's just, you know, all the same when it comes to the overall experience. And I think that's that's the peak right now of the iPad OS as for now. And that is why we need more. And that is why I think Apple will do more during WWDC. I mean, they kind of have to. I mean, they don't, but they kind of do since people say that there is no difference. And of course, there is no difference for those who are who like use 2020 or 2018 iPad Pros. For others, it's gonna be, but still we need more with that hardware, with increased pricing of 12.9 inch iPad Pro, with all of that magic keyboard performance hardware, we just need more. And what exactly do we need? Well, I think that we need bear apps we need ipad os to become more of a computer system not mac os i mean we are not gonna just what, what will be the point of you know literally importing mac os to the ipad no ipad os needs to be more functional and better in the way it does things it needs to be more like a computer not mac os but more like a computer system that's actually capable of for example loading all pages the way you want it. So if I open YouTube on my iPad, it's not gonna direct me to the YouTube app like it's doing right now. It's not gonna not open the page because because it's an iPad and these things happen. It's not gonna have poor file management system. It's not gonna be limited to like widgets only on the left side. Like we need more and I really hope we are gonna get more during WWDC. And if we are not, is iPad M1, iPad Pro gonna be worth? Well, I think it's gonna be because like you're buying an iPad and you know what you're buying. And you know that if you buy such an overkill tablet, it's gonna last for years and years and years. And actually it's gonna give you reliable experience with that limited OS. But we still need more. Until next time.